everyone welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here my name is Kaylee I'm so happy to have you today we are going to be chatting how to have a designer home on a budget I want to talk a bit about what I mean by the word designer because I think it should have a very personal meaning for everybody I think having a designer home is a lot about curation which leans so much into personal style it's about coziness cleanliness if you care about cleanliness i think some designer homes can have a lot of clutter but more in an intentional way and i really don't think it's always about buying things obviously if you're starting from scratch you can't just have an empty space and make it feel like a home but in a lot of ways i think having budget constraints are really good for us they make us intentional about what we're purchasing your items can be collected over time very thoughtful maybe they're hand-me-downs from family or friends maybe they have a really good story or hunt behind them i just really want to emphasize that this isn't about spending the most money it's not a pretentious thing necessarily to have a designer home it's just about having a home that you really love and maybe you want some new furniture and new pieces but you don't necessarily have the funds available at the moment i think you can make so much progress just by rearranging and cleaning your space maybe touching up any paint if you can removing scuffs from walls if you have any wood furniture some danish wood oil goes a really long way i'll link some below it can take away small nicks or water stains just like that if you have a puppy that chews on anything it works wonders and i really think just some basic rearranging can spruce up a space so much i also am a huge fan of fresh flowers and some basic greenery i think you can go really simple just get a pack or two of flowers at your local grocery store if you have a trader joe's near you they have the best flowers i would stick to just the single stems i really love lilies tulips are in season right now Tulips, is that how you say that flower i'm not sure it's about to be summertime and at my house i can pick a bunch of wild flowers which can make beautiful bouquets and it's also free just make sure they're not poisonous first if you want to do that some of the really pretty wildflowers are and if you have an iphone you can just check on your camera and photos app if you click on info it'll tell you all about the flower which is important to do for yourself and if you have any pets and if you don't have any vases there are so many at the thrift store even just a clear vase works great or sometimes I'll use mugs, glasses, or even a little shot glass for a bud face. I like to place flowers all around my home, just in all the little nooks and crannies. I genuinely feel like my home feels naked without them. And if you want to level it up a bit, I don't have any here, but there are a lot of good videos on TikTok from florists explaining how you can use things like chicken wire or flower frogs to make some really cool arrangements at home. I'll insert some photos. They can look a bit more sculptural and just be a fun way to express yourself in your personal style. If you're rearranging, I would definitely suggest pulling your furniture off the wall if you can. A lot of small spaces won't allow for this. The apartment I'm currently in will not allow for this, but if you have a slightly bigger space, I urge you to try this, even if it's just a little bit off the wall. If you have your bed shoved in a corner right now, maybe try centering it in your room. If you can, I've definitely lived in spaces where I just could not do that. And I know you've definitely heard this one before, but I would say try not to have your TV as the focal point of your living area. I don't personally believe that you need to completely hide it away. Like in this space, I have this beautiful vintage Danish credenza that my TV sits on and it has a bit more of an interesting shape and stand. This one's quite old, but I know that Samsung has come out with a lot of TVs recently that are a bit more pleasing to the eye. I'm not totally sold on the frame TV. I feel like they're just really expensive for what they are, but I've never actually seen one in person i think if you can do some vintage shopping having a really cool media unit that you can use styling around the tv with books little knickknacks and trinkets can go a long way just to kind of draw the eye elsewhere i also think one of the greatest things that you can do when you are designing or reworking your home is to create some pinterest boards of things that you like i am always on pinterest i swear right now we are renovating a fixer-upper in upstate new york and i find myself so inspired from pinterest and it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to copy something although you totally can if you want to but especially if you feel like you like a lot of things and you're not totally sure what direction that you want to go in having a visual board of all the things that you like is very helpful i don't know about you guys but for me environments truly impact me having a clean cozy visually appealing home truly affects me i'm definitely one of those people that can't focus or get started on my work day until i've cleaned my apartment i also think our homes can be such a direct reflection of our mental health 
and state if we're living in a chaotic space it often means that our brains are also chaotic at least for me having a safe space to come home to or relax in if you're going through anything is so helpful i think it's so important to create your own little sanctuary whatever that means to you and you can do such simple things through things like lighting maybe you need some warmer lighting in your house i personally find cool lighting quite depressing and i know a lot of others do as well it's just a little too stark it reminds me too much of school or the hospital or public transit and that brings me to the sponsor of this video better help i became a better help customer in 2018 and therapy has truly improved my life so much i talk about having a nice environment and how that affects my mental health but but it's really just a piece of the puzzle. I think you need a combination of things to be mentally healthy and some people need more than others. I'm definitely someone that needs a little bit more than others from dealing with depression, anxiety, ADHD. BetterHelp is great because they will connect you with a licensed therapist who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. Sometimes you really just need someone who is a little bit removed from your world, especially if you deal with anxiety. I know I often don't want to bog down my loved ones with my own problems all the time and being in therapy really helps me approach anything that comes up in life with a clear level head to connect with a licensed therapist first you can go to their site you can use betterhelp.com slash kaylee i will have that link in the description box below as well you'll answer a few questions and then BetterHelp will match you with a therapist who has years of experience of helping others with struggles similar to yours i love that you can do it all from your phone computer or tablet via video chat call or messaging however you feel the most comfortable it's the easiest possible way to start connecting with a therapist you'll be matched to a therapist usually within 48 hours so you can get started right away if you've ever tried to find a therapist in person you know that is usually not the case so let better help connect you with a therapist who can support you right from the comfort of your own home you can go to betterhelp.com slash kaylee or just choose kaylee mckenzie during sign up to get a discount on your first month and thank you so much to better help for partnering with me on another video so now if you're looking to do some shopping i want to go through and share some of my favorite places to shop for the home i'm pretty much always at least when it makes sense a vintage secondhand pre-loved girl first i think you can usually find much more interesting pieces and also at a better price i love etsy cherish facebook marketplace craigslist habitat for humanities restores are also really great if you have one in your area family heirlooms can be awesome we have a bookcase that i love that's been in my partner's family forever and if you can like i said earlier don't rush collect curate take your time but i will say the resellers are on it lately especially in this day and age and i think finding good things in person really depends on your location sometimes being in a more metropolitan area can help you and also harm you sometimes secondhand can even be more expensive so i wanted to compile a list of things that you can buy online at an affordable price a lot of these are sort of smaller decor type home items, maybe bedding, towels, things that you wouldn't necessarily buy secondhand. I recently did a post on my site, which is always linked below. It's called Budget Home Finds You Can Actually Buy. Also, in one of my recent videos, I chatted about new IKEA favorites. There's been a lot of cool IKEA furniture pieces come out recently. They're bringing back some old items from their 70s catalog that are super my vibe and obviously really affordable. And listen, I do not want to be a huge supporter of fast fashion, fast home brands, but sometimes it's what we need. And I think with home items, Hopefully these are items that you're gonna hold on to a bit longer than you would say a random shirt or skirt. Shoes that are gonna just fall apart. I need to just start my screen recording here, but here is a look at the post. I wanted to start with a rug company that I really like. I actually have a partner discount for you guys if you're at all interested where you can get 15% off. I have a couple of their rugs in my home. The company is called Revival and they have a really lovely selection of new and vintage rugs. They're at an affordable price point. They're super high quality. They also have some washable rugs if you have pets that can be a really nice option i have their washable stripe rug in my apartment and then i also have some of their jute rugs at my place upstate i also have this sweater rug upstate which is super cozy i love it so much i can see it's a little in stock here if you're interested remember to use my 15 percent code i also really love a shag rug i think this price is great and they have some really beautiful colors i have a charcoal huge shag rug upstate in my bedroom that i love i think it's great for a bedroom they can be high maintenance with shedding but 
I think they feel very luxurious and nice and as long as you vacuum them on a regular basis they stay looking really good. Quince makes a lot of beautiful home pieces. These are their European linen curtains. They also have some nice blackout curtains. I can't believe I'm sharing H&M Home but they have some beautiful storage baskets at an affordable price point. Etsy also has some great options for more handmade baskets. Jenem also has a lot of great planters. I think I'm gonna be needing to order some of these for myself because planters are so expensive, especially bigger ones. I really like this ribbed sort of metal fabrication that they have in these planters. Some good affordable vases as well. A lot of these are knockoffs of nicer brands, but for example, that vase would be like $100. These planters are also really nice for just something simple, a bit more minimal. I definitely prefer a more minimal style. Their jute doormats are on sale. They also had some decent lamps and kind of wall sconces that are plug-in. I think sconces can make such a big difference in your home or just wall lights. I have this one back here that I love. I think like two of these next to your bed or couch could look really nice and $59.99 is a great price some other vases these vases are huge and it's super rare to find a huge vase at that price unless you thrift it which again can be a little challenging depending on where you live oh i just got this table on amazon because i really needed a small table for my apartment i've basically been funneling all of my home money into renovations and more internal work rather than furnishings for the upstate house so the apartment's a bit neglected. I would still love to get like some art and shelving on the walls and a few other little things, but I really needed a table. And at $97, I'm actually really impressed with the quality. If you live in a small space, I think this one's great. These candlesticks from H&M Home are super chic. And you know, candles are just something that you burn. I don't think it's worth spending a lot of money on them, especially when they're unscented. I love a pleated lampshade, and this one actually looks like it's cream instead of bright white. I think the problem with a lot of cheaper lampshades is they tend to be bright white, which is just not the vibe for me personally. I think it takes a really special kind of lamp to get away with a bright white shade. Etsy also has some good options for these. So here's one of the bases, kind of like what I was talking about earlier that has a little flower frog sort of built into it. I love Quince's bedding. I mentioned Quince earlier. I have this striped bedding already and you can see the traditional retail comparison versus their price and I have quite a few things from Quince. I'm always impressed with the quality and I love that it's super unbranded. They have really good color options too. Like I love this Bordeaux color and they have good sheet set options as well and towels. I love their towels. I thought this book stand on H&M Home is really nice as sort of like a display art book on a credenza or dresser or something, even a coffee table if you have a bigger coffee table. I have these candlestick holders from Amazon. They're just little iron holders and they have a bunch of different shapes available actually and sometimes these can be really expensive like at any little boutiques that I like in New York. They might charge you like $40 to $50 per candle holder and these are like packs for $10 on Amazon and they hold up pretty nice. I thought this floral throw was cute on H&M Home. It kind of reminded me, I have this mohair throw from Hawkins, New York, but I think it was like $300 even on sale and it's beautiful. I've had it for years. Probably one of my favorite things in my home, but definitely not budget friendly. Quince makes these linen pillow covers as well. I also have a linen pillow cover back there that's from Hawkins, New York, and this is like half the price. And I'm sure it's nice since I've had their other linen stuff. They have good comforters as well. This is sort of textured striped duvet cover it reminds me of a brand that's like very popular on Instagram. All of like the Instagram, Pinterest, girlies, bedrooms, especially the European ones. $80, that's a great price. I love a rice paper lamp. These are definitely a trend right now. They can be quite expensive though. And again, like I was talking about earlier, I think it's really rare to find the cheaper rice paper alternatives that aren't bright white. And these are a nice beige color. Again, definitely Noguchi knockoffs, but a good affordable alternative. 
Oh, and one last thing that I really love from Quince are their cashmere throws. That brand Italic also makes good ones. There's a few companies that have become these sort of direct-to-consumer brands that make really nice basic items like this and I think it's just something that you'll have forever. They're so cozy to cuddle up with. I have this charcoal one that my dog is on right now. Some linen napkins are lovely for any dinner party or just sort of elevating your everyday meals. If you have an outdoor space, I thought this extra large fire bowl was a great price and might be something that I buy for out of state. I'm gonna have this post linked below if you guys are interested in checking any of these items out. I'm not gonna go through every single one at the moment, but I hope you can find some cute things. And if you have any recommendations for me as well, definitely let me know if there's anything more affordable that you've gotten for your home that you really love. I would love to hear from you. And I think that's gonna wrap this video up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I would love to create more sort of sit down home content. I really like consuming this kind of content on YouTube. So definitely let me know what you guys think. I want it to be like a very interactive, fun, non-pretentious thing. I definitely have more renovation content coming soon. I've just been a little bit tight on funds lately due to just some internal issues that have been happening in our house. And I haven't been able to focus on the fun cosmetic stuff, which has been kind of a bummer, but soon. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more daily content. And I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you super soon. Bye.